The only legend I have ever loved is the story of a daughter lost in hell and found and rescued there. Love and blackmail are the gist of it. Ceres and Persephone, the names. What she can do, she can appear to be setting up a narrative sometimes. She drops you into a poem very easily with a nice inviting opening line. And before you know where you are, you're dealing with rifts in time. She's very dignified, she's very respectful, she's formally excellent, but then there's a very, very deep psychological insight to her as well. So she's always been a really fine advocate and a friend of other poets, and I don't think for her the poetry world is anything but a community. And I don't think that for her, her own work has any sense except taken within this community. She really wrapped her hands around the tree of Irish poetry and shook it to its foundations. The issues that she experienced in terms of sort of lack of role models or lack of encouragement or a sense of a, a censorship of what was appropriate subject matter, she broke through those obstacles. To be a young woman writing a poem in the suburbs of Dublin was a remarkable thing. She shows a really endearing curiosity about the next generation. I think it's wonderful that time has rolled around and she has now been seen for the incredible influence that she has been both on men and women. She had this historic imagination, not just for delineating uh, the arguments of history, but for making us feel what it was like to live in the past, to live as a colonized people, to live as a people who'd experienced famine. Our times have robbed your cradle. Sleep in a world your final sleep has woken. You know, she does something very, very beautiful with very, very simple, very, very simple words. She's wonderful. She is dignified. I think the thing I think most about her and I like most about her is that she's respectful to myself and my colleagues here in Poetry Ireland. I can think of few poets who have meant more to and enabled more um, the community of younger writers in the UK than Yvonne has done. You get a very clear idea of what's important to her and its persistence and craft and innovation, dissent, fearlessness, all of these things. She's, you know, one of the most influential voices writing anywhere in the world today. She has a powerful moral presence in our extraordinary poetic tradition. I believe she is the true heir or heiress uh, of Yeats. I just feel that she has been one of poetry's great friends. Um, and in an age when many poets are serving themselves, she has served the art. And she has served a very interesting constituency of writers. I have nothing but uh, love for her and for her work.